Okay, so we're going to continue where we were talking uh, last time about being able to add these when it requires some carrying or some regrouping. Last time we looked at it when we had to regroup into the tens column. We're going to look at it today uh, when we have to regroup into the hundreds. It's going to be the same idea, but just making a little point here to hopefully be able to make the connections of what's happening as we add more uh, different place values here. Okay, so we're going to again write this out in expanded form, so please be writing this down on a piece of paper as we go so that you continue to practice the organizational part of this, which is half of what we're trying to learn here. So we're going to write out 357 in expanded form. That is 300 plus 50 plus 7. And the other number is 200 plus 60 plus 1. Okay, and so we're going to be adding these together. So we're going to start in our ones column. 7 plus 1 is 8. So as we talked about last time, this needs to be a number 9 or less, which it is. So we do not need to do any regrouping this time. So we go to the next, the tens column. 50 plus 60 is 110. Okay, well this is our tens column, so we cannot have any numbers that are bigger than 99. So we are going to take a hundred out of this, so it becomes 10, and that hundred will be moved over to the hundreds column. So we're carrying that or regrouping that to this other column here. So then we can add our hundreds column, 100 plus 300 plus 200 is 600. And then when we go to put it back together, we need to remember that we've changed this. So what we are adding together is 600 plus 10 plus 8, which is 618. Okay, now we can do it the way you've been taught to show you the connections here. 7 plus 1 is 8. 5 plus 6 is 11. So we put 1, carry 1. 1 plus 3 plus 2 is 6. So we get 618. So when we take 1 from the tens column and move it to the hundreds column, when we regroup that, we're really regrouping 100 because that's in the hundreds column. So we get 618. All right, so now we're going to give you an opportunity to practice what we just went over. And the problem that we want you to do is 193 plus 148. So you're going to write this out in expanded form. And then use the idea we just taught you of regrouping uh, what really is happening with the tens and the hundreds. Uh, this is combining the two ideas. Okay, so at this time the teacher can pause the tape and walk around and check your work as you do this problem. Okay, so now we're going to do this problem together so that you can check your work. So we're going to write this out in expanded form. This is 100 plus 90 plus 3. And the other number is 100 plus 40 plus 8. So we're going to start in the 1's column. 3 plus 8 is our 11. That's too large to be in the 1's. So we're going to take a 10 out of that, make it 1, and regroup that 10. And now we're going to add our 10's column. 10 plus 90 is 100, plus 40 is 140. That's too large to be in our tens. We're going to make it 40 and regroup that 100. 100 plus 100 plus 100 is 300. So when we add these together, we get 341. And then you can see if we do it the way you've been taught previously, 3 plus 8 is 11, carry the 1. 1 plus 9 plus 4 is 14. 4, carry that 1, then we get 341. So you use this to check your work, see what mistakes you made, fix them so that you can see what you did wrong. Okay, so we're going to give you one more to work on, just one more practice problem. So we want you to add 384 plus 266. So you're going to again write this out in expanded form and use the regrouping technique you've been taught to find the solution to this. So at this point the teacher should pause the tape again and walk around and check as you work.
Okay, so we're going to write this out in expanded form. 300 plus 80 plus 4. The other number is 200 plus 60 plus 6. 4 plus 6 is 10. Even though it's only 10, it's still too big to be in that column. We're going to take it all away and make it 0 so that we can put the whole 10 there. 10 plus 80 is 90 plus 60 is 150. Again, that's too large for this column. We'll make it 50 and bring the 100 over here. 100 plus 300 plus 200 is 600. So when we add these, we just get 650 because that last one is a 0. And so this is an interesting problem. So we'll look at this the way you have learned it, about why we took all of this away. So 4 plus 6 is 10, and so we put a 0, carry the 1. So that's what happened here if it that 0. Okay, and so then we go to the tens column. 1 plus 8 is 9, plus 6 is 15. 5, carry the 1. 1 plus 3 plus 2 is 6. We get 650. So this is the first problem we really looked at where we end up with a zero with expanded form. So this is kind of a different idea. So.